The committee says allegations leveled against the bank, including drug trafficking, could not be supported by evidence adduced before it. The committee said the bank may have violated sections of the Banking Act, just like other banks often do, but while others were let off the hook, Chatterhouse Bank closed. Okemo says all government agencies that appeared before the committee absolved Chatterhouse Bank of these allegations. Seemingly irate backbenchers took a swipe at U.S. Ambassador Michael Ranneberger for his continued push for closure of the bank and the government for allegedly bowing to foreign pressure. Chatterhouse Bank has been closed since 2005 when it was placed under the central bank statutory management. And I quote, we should not bend to external pressure to break our own rules which we make in parliament, end of quote. The United States has maintained that the bank was involved in the illegal transfer of billions of shillings outside the country. In fact, the website WikiLeaks has revealed documents adducing to the fact that most of the bank's accounts were used in questionable money transfer deals. Notably, about six ministers, including the leader of government business, Kalonzo Msioka, were absent during debate and adoption of the report. But as soon as the motion was moved, they moved out. This prompted a visibly angry temporary speaker, Gitobu Imanyara, to question the motive, and I quote, Key issues to do with the country's financial management are being discussed, yet finance minister is absent, end of quote.